flies will eat him. Some of you have probably seen me bowl here before and I bowl in a couple leagues. I averaged 212 and I recently qualified to join the Professional Bowlers Association. What I want to talk with you today is about bowling balls and more specifically, you've probably wondered to yourself, you know, why do bowlers, why do some bowlers have so many bowling balls? They're all round, they all have three finger holes in them. But the fact of the matter is all bowling balls are different and a good bowler not only has good technique, but they also know which ball to use on which, with which lane conditions. And so what I'm going to talk with, about with you today is the different characteristics of bowling balls. I'm going to talk about how I selected the bowling balls I have in my arsenal. And I'm going to give you some tips on how to best use those bowling balls uh, you know, during league and competitive or, uh, practice play. First, I want to talk the characteristics of bowling balls. I'm going to talk about the most two. According to Jim King, editor of Bowling This Month magazine, the two most important characteristics of bowling balls are the surface, um, which is kind of like the tires in a car. You know, they grip the lane or slide through oil differently, and the layout or how the finger holes are drilled relative to the core of the ball. So. Instead of talking about all the different surfaces and all the different drillings, I'm just going to go through what I, ha what I have in my arsenal, and that will help you understand better uh, about bowling ball selection. Uh, Jim King also says that every bowler should start out with a baseline ball, or a ball that you would make every other ball choice in comparison to. For me, uh, this ball is my favorite ball. It's a hammer wheel. As you can tell, it's got a particle surface, so it's kind of dull. So like a, using that car analogy again, using that tire analogy, it'll, it'll grip the lane oil, kind of like tread, like a car, like tire with tread. So this ball is drilled also to hook a little early, as you can tell with the pin, just slightly away from the fingers and uh, the center of gravity relatively close to the ball. Now for this ball, if this ball is starting to hook a little too early and I need something to go a little longer, I'll go with my Hammer Nova. This is a shinier ball, so this would be more like a race car tire, uh, or like a tire without any tread. So this will slide all the way down the lane order and hook a little harder uh, when it hits dry board. So if you look on the next page, it's going to go down farther, but it's going to hook a little harder and still get to the pocket. If I need to play more inside, I'm still going to use I'm still going to use a reactive resin ball, just like the Hammer Nova, except this one's drilled with the center of gravity further away from the pin, so it's going to go, it's going to break even harder, which is going to enable me to move inside. And last but certainly not least, I have my Brunswick Goliath, which is a particle ball similar to the Hammer Wheel, except this one with the center of gravity more in toward the palm is going to go a little bit longer but it still has some surface to get back to the pocket. So now that you've seen how I've built my bowling ball arsenal, and some people might have more balls than this, but Parker Bones might, says, and he's a PBA Hall of Famer, having more balls just might lead to confusion. So now that I've talked about how I built my bowling ball arsenal, I want to talk a little bit about how to use it during both practice and competitive play. In practice, you want to make sure not only that you use all your equipment, but that you use all of your equipment in each game. That way you can use all of your balls as the lanes change. So you use your ball, use all of your equipment all over the lane. And as PBA tournament victory leader Walter Williams has said, uh, part of being a good bowler is to be able to play all parts of the lane. Now while this practice strategy might mean you might score a little less, uh, Russ, Russ King, um, resident bowling expert at askexperts.com has said practice for practice, not for score. So your score is not that important. So with these, uh, I've told you how bowling balls are different, the deck characteristics are important. I've talked with you how I built my arsenal, and I've given you some practice tips about how to best make use of your bowling investment. Uh, hopefully this will help improve your average, just like it's improved mine. If you have any questions, contact your PBA professional. Thank you and have a great evening. That's it. I've got to ask a question.